Hi everybody, Fororata live here with another Keyforge video. This time I'm taking a look at a really interesting Star Alliance card, Forging an Alliance. It's the Star Alliance Key Cheat. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my Keyforge content. You can also catch me on Twitter and Twitch. So let's take a look at this card and get into the video. So what is Forging an Alliance? It's the Star Alliance Key Cheat. It's an action card. It comes with an Ember Pip and it reads, play. Forge a key at plus 7 amber, current cost, reduced by 1 amber to a maximum of 6 for each house represented among cards in play. So let's just take a think about that. You play the card, you get an amber pip. You can then forge a key out of step, but it's at a pretty high cost, so plus 7 amber cost. But it's reduced by 1 amber up to a maximum of 6 for each house represented among cards in play. So you're really keen to see a good spread of houses all of your houses out in play in some form, all of your opponent's houses out in play. It's not limited to creatures like some of the key cheat cards are. So you're looking for any card in play, including artifacts, upgrades that might be hidden on um, on other uh, creatures and the like. So certainly some room for maneuver there, but it comes at quite high cost. So six, if you're at normal key cost, plus seven, 13. So you really need those reductions. Let's just go through a few examples of that. So what is the best that could happen? So you're really looking with this card in your deck for matchups where none of your houses match. None of your three houses are doubled up with your opponent. That's when you can get the maximum benefit from this card. So you're running Logos Sorin Star Alliance, you're up against this Shadows Untamed. Um, say you manage to get one creature upgrade artifact, one card in play from each of those houses when you play Forging Alliance, you need seven amber if you're at a normal key cost of six. So six plus the seven on the card is 13. Take off six for the number of houses, seven. So you need seven amber. Now, of course, you get one amber pip from the card itself. Um, so do bear that in mind. But that's if you get a perfect matchup with no houses matching and you get one of every card out in play. Um, what about maybe a more typical matchup? So here, you know, you're running Logos Saurian Star Alliance, they're running Logos Saurian Untamed. Um, so not quite so good there. There's only four potential houses in play. So you've got that uh, key cost, say, of six. Assume it's six for now. Add seven, 13, minus four for the four houses in play. That's if everything has something represented in play. So at best, you're gonna be able to forge at nine amber. And what's the worst matchup? Well, the worst matchup here is a complete mirror matchup in terms of houses. So, um, you know, same houses from you and your opponent. So here, Logos Soaring Star Alliance versus Logos Soaring Star Alliance. Um, the best you can do is get three different houses in play. To be fair, you're pretty likely to manage that. Um, you're both running the same houses. So there you're going, say, key cost of six plus seven. 13 minus the three houses, 10 amber. So this isn't the best key cheat in terms of making it cheap to forge a key. Um, it's quite expensive to forge a key, but it does let you do it out of step. And it's not reliant on anything other than cards being in play. So it's, it's difficult for your opponent to play around it. Um, unless they have no cards in play, um, you're gonna be able to pull this off some form or another. So some pretty high amber costs, so I guess that's the biggest drawback with this card. Um, you need a lot of amber in your pool when you play it in order to get that um, key cheat off. Um, and I suppose the main thing I'd say, remember the amber pip. Please remember the amber pip. That goes down first. So as soon as you play this card, you get that amber pip, then you resolve the play effect. So, um, you know, in that first example, when you're looking for um, seven amber say if there's six different houses represented you want six in your pool you play this card you get one for the amber pip that's your seven and you're able to forge so please don't forget that so potentially a good card not the easiest to pull off um, some people say you know pretty tricky pretty tricky to plan for pretty tricky to um, play around you don't know quite what your opponent's going to play and very dependent on that matchup you know you can start the game and immediately see you've got the same house as your opponent um, and in which case it's going to be really hard to pull this off effectively um, having said that you can do it um, I have done it, I've done it, and I've used it to win a game, in fact. So um, what I'm going to show you now is a little bit of gameplay um, showing you just how effective it can be if you can manage to pull off Forging an Alliance. Um, it is a great key cheat. Uh, it is a great card to have in hand uh, if you've got the right deck that can do a bit of burst in Star Alliance, get you up to those big amber totals, um, pull this off, and get the key cheat away. So let's have a look at some gameplay. So 
the wide world and I was going to play Tabor which is kind of handy so I might do Logos while I know what's going to happen So that to saying is handy. <laughs> That's worked out very well. Because that nets me even more amber. And clears their archives. Um, and I might save the interdimensional graft because I don't need it. And just reap. Yeah, I, I, yeah, the idiot comment was for allowing them to draw with the candle bot, really. I just, you know, got 10 cards in hand. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping, though, that they burst up a bit. Um, so that good of the many was interesting. So I think Six Emperor is going to deal with that, yeah, because um, it's the equal highest. Ah, oh, no. Oh, is he going to exalt him? No. <laughs> Gutted. don't have any way to deal with that. Star Alliance, Uncharted Lands and Reap. No. Okay, so...
so if I play the IG um, so let's just work out the forging and alliance I'll go on to 12 and I'll be able to forge at 13 reduced by 1 2 3 so I think I should just play that and it's game if I've done the maths right yeah perfect there we go got to win with this deck in the end um, after getting wrecked a couple of times but a um, um, couple of turns there where I could have gone a few different directions but um, yeah that uncharted lands play at the end was was monster um, and then finally got the forging and alliance off so pretty pleased about that so there you go, it is possible to forge an alliance with Star Alliance. Um, it's a pretty tricky key cheat to get off all the time. It's not going to be super consistent for you, but it can be pretty powerful when you get it to work. And remember, worst case scenario, you can just play this card, pick up the Amber Pip and move on. So that's pretty handy as well. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I hope you found out a bit more about forging an alliance uh, in Keyforge. Please do like the video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've enjoyed this and my other videos, check some of those out. You can also follow me on Twitch and see me streaming some Keyforge games live. Follow me on Twitter as well and I'll hope to see you soon.